So let's go to our foreign correspondent, James Longman, who is inside Moscow. And James, sanctions already, as we heard, starting to have an impact there. Good morning. Yeah, that's right, Amy. Good morning. Russia is becoming increasingly isolated. The entire European Union has now banned Russian aircraft from its airspace. A number of airlines have suspended services entirely. And that is why the United States has told all American citizens to leave here immediately. And the economic fallout from sanctions, it is really hitting. The stock market is now closed because they feared a crash. Interest rates have now been hiked to deal with the plummeting ruble. People's incomes are now worth far less this afternoon than just when they woke up a few hours ago. We've seen big lines at banks as people try to store dollars. But there are concerns ATMs will actually run out of foreign currency. Some major electronics retailers have actually stopped selling things like smartphones and laptops because so many people rushed to buy them before they became too expensive. UPS and FedEx have suspended services to Russia, and this is hugely consequential. Energy giant BP has divested from its 20% share of the huge oil company here, Rosneft. Now, authorities have always kept a close eye on people, but Moscow really does feel more and more like the capital of a police state. Riot police have flooded the center of town following days of protests across the country. More than 5,000 have now been arrested in anti-war protests. Amy? And James, as Putin's military efforts are challenged in Ukraine, the battle online is also heating up. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Amy. Facebook says it's uncovered two social media disinformation campaigns targeted at Ukraine. Now, one ran websites posing as genuine news entities. They created fake personas using things like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. The other was what they called a threat actor who invented scenarios showing Ukrainian troops surrendering. More Russian tactics just being foiled. Amy? James Longman in Moscow. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.